What's up, y'all? I'm back. It's the solution, aka the sneaker aficionado, but today you can call me the boot aficionado. To be more specific, specific ugh, everybody messes up with that word. But to be more direct, all right? I talk for a living. I can't believe I messed that word up. And I'm not going to edit that out, by the way, because there's some humor behind it. To be more direct, the Timberland aficionado. We're going to talk about the Timberlands. I know I'm the sneaker aficionado, but your whole cipher cannot be complete. Take it back to the 90s. Your whole cipher can't be complete unless you're Timberland down, you know? Timberlands for ass-kicking reasons for all seasons. Shout out to Smith & Wesson. But some of these Tims up here are really, really old. And um, my camera probably won't capture the essence of how old some of these Tims are. Some of these Tims are probably older than some of you. And that just shows you how well I take care of my boots and my shoes. So when we get into it, you're looking like this guy has three of the same pair of Timberlands. Well, there's a story behind it. You know, I'm going to get into it break it down real quick. These are pretty much my mint condition Tims right here. But believe it or not, I got these in 2014 and I kept them fresh. I don't wear these all the time. This is when, you know, I'm with a fly shorty. You know, I really don't want to put any shoes on. No designer sneakers that day. No sneakers, period. We're going on a nice little cool little date. I really don't want to put shoes on and get dressy. So I break out the fresh Tims. And you know something? Chicks dig that because Tims are about $189 now. I didn't pay that for these. I got these for $109 at the Post Exchange at Fort Meade, Maryland. Tax-free, of course. Then I have... This pair right here, which are a little older than this. I got these around um, 2010, 2011, when I was in Africa. All right, got these over there. You know, they didn't really clean them up too well, but they still look fresh. Most people wear these and not feel bad at all, like they aren't a dog. Then I have this pair right here from um, 2006. Yeah, 2006. And you can't tell, really. These are pretty much in still really good repair. The heels worn a little bit. Um, that's because at the time I was in a place where it actually got cold and I was rocking my Tims a little bit more. I'm in San Antonio. They don't really have appreciation for Tims because it does not get cold enough here. I've worn these maybe three times since I've been back here. Three. And then I have this pair right here. These are the lights. The wheat lights. Uh, most people are like, man, you got the cheap Tims on. I got these as a gift in um, 2001 for Christmas. And um, these these were pretty popular back then. You know, they legit. These are real Tims, by the way. But it's just a lightweight version of the Timberland. Remember, Timberland were originally construction. They were work boots. But I would not wear these to a work site because they aren't reinforced. A lot of them weatherized. Um, like my pair right here. If you look inside there, you see the waterproof and weatherization in here. And they're way more comfortable than these pair. Okay? But these are not my oldest pair of Tims, by the way. Not by stretch. It's actually these black, ashy-looking joints right here that I've been thinking about restoring. Um, <laughs> these were a gift when I was living in Germany. And um, someone went back home and she got these for me. And Tim's weren't that expensive back then. They were about $69. And uh, she brought these back for me. So I've kept them. Um, you can tell they got a little, you know, little, little character to them. The heels worn a little bit. But dudes would rock these still. Uh, you can't really tell the heels that bad. But they do need to be re-dyed. And I'm looking into doing that. I've just held on to them uh, for style, nostalgia reasons. Plus, I don't want to pay... Uh, $129 for a pair of black Tims in a state that I'm not going to wear them at all. Then, followed behind that are these brown joints right here. And these chocolate deals, I like to call them, are dope. Only thing is, you can tell, you, you can see that they're worn, is I have these little knotting deals in the laces. I just haven't replaced the laces. But these are from, um, wow, I want to say uh, 2003. Another gift, you know, because she knew I was into Tim's back then like that. And she wanted me looking fresh. So shout out to that lady. You know, that was way, way in another life. And they're, they're still dope. You can't tell. Look at the soul. Look at them. All right? I haven't even sprayed a protective on these. They're kind of dusty. And I did that for a reason. Let you know that these last for a while. All right? Then, 
I got these cinnamon joints right here. Okay. These are from 2006. 2006, I copped these. All right. And they're actually on sale. I, I couldn't believe these were like $79. But it gets better. I'm going to go back in time for a little bit. And this is a colorway right here. I challenge you to find. This is China Blue. It's called China Blue. And I got these from the Post Exchange on Fort Sam Houston for $59. I had to get them. Um, they, they just, <laughs> the color is crazy. And I got an outfit that I wear sometimes from back then. And um, I still got the little cool lacing deal. Look, look at that. That tells you what I've been doing back then. Look at the lacing. Okay. You can see that. That was my thing back then. So I could slip them on and off. But there's a way to keep these clean. Um, if you get some scuffs in there, you get 160 grit sandpaper and you rub the scuff ever so slightly. Now, be careful because what that does, it removes a layer of the new buck or suede, depending on the boot that you have. Be careful. Don't rub hard. Rub lightly till it goes away and it'll take the scuff out. But if you have a brush, brush all the heavy debris away first because sometimes it'll come off with that. If that does not work, make sure you get the official Timberland eraser. Don't get a regular eraser from... Um, the market or Walmart or something because it will start to remove the color from the wheat boot and there's a way to get the color back too so if those methods um, if the brush method doesn't work then use the eraser and you come back with the light sandpaper and um, if it takes a little bit of color try to rub around the boot just a little bit lightly and it'll bring it back but what you're doing is smoothing down the boot so once you do that you want to get a, a coarse brush and brush it again to bring it back then you get the mint spray from various uh, sneaker stores, spray it on it and the color will come back. This is why these still look like that because I've taken care of them. These look like this because I've done a fairly good job over the years. And definitely these look like this because I have used the sandpaper method on these and it turned out right. And you could tell um, the age of these because these were just simply embossed with the logo right here. and. Uh, they wasn't really doing that in this run of the Thames, but the later version, they darkened it up. <laughs> and it was funny, back in the day, people used to take a pen and color in the tree so you knew your Thames were real. Don't wear fake Thames. They stand out pretty well, and you can tell. Um, I like to wear my jeans over top of my Thames, which is why my laces look like this. And they don't fold. Some people, you, you could do the tongue down thing. I did that with these for a while. And I brought them back, I wet them and laced them up like that. You can flip the tongue down and have it flat down like that. That's cool too, you know, right, for the rugged look. But trust me, keep your Tims up. They look great with a lot of things, especially some denim. And keep it official. What they don't look well with are skinny joggers. Mm, don't do that. Just my opinion. It looks odd. But to each his own. But I'm out of here. I'm the sneaker aficionado. But today, I am... The Tim official now because I love Timberlands. I don't like the current price because essentially what happened, I saw the price of Tim's go up with um, Drake in that Rihanna video. He had the all black on. He had some Tim's on. Then I noticed everyone started buying the price went up. So the culture drives the price. You have a saying this, people. Don't run out and buy them because somebody else has them on. Wear different stuff. That way the price doesn't affect you. And this is one shoe right here. That because I grew up with this shoe, I just kind of have to have them, but I take good care of them. You know, besides the pair, right? These just got some age on them, but I'm not gonna toss them away anytime soon because they're still not bad. All right. Remember, subscribe, like, dislike, leave a comment, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hopefully, um, you got an appreciation of what I'm doing out here. And uh, remember, it's not how much you pay for them, especially with these. It's why you paid that much for them. And I'm out of here.